Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bix here, and uh, I'm bringing you a little Skate 3 footage. Um, what I'm just doing today is just going through a little uh, instructional of what I kind of do to get all my filming and and kind of editing done in all the Skate 3 montages I have and all the ones I put up. Uh, you can see more Skate 3 Skate 3 videos I've made in uh, my old channel, I'll post that link in the description. But uh, let's get to the let's get to the instructional, shall we? Uh, first trick you want to do for fisheye tricks or uh, for lines, you want to distort your camera angle. So first thing you do, you zoom one marker in to I don't know 50 plus. Second marker, zoom out all the way. Then it's going to zoom you all the way out to to a 10 millimeter zoom. It works really nice for a fisheye. Um, some people like 15. I recently saw that one up there. Um, just when you're doing your fisheye, keep in mind where the skater's at, uh, where they are in the clip, um, what kind of clip it's going to be, if it's going to be like a line, if it's going to be... If it's going to be uh, something just... Something moving, I don't know. Uh, make sure they are always, maybe not dead center, but make sure you're not cutting any limbs off. I mean, skateboarding's great, but usually it doesn't look as good if, you know, you've chopped off half the body in the clip. Feet are cool and all, that is skateboarding, but it's not all. Uh, let's see, we're going to keep going, keep going. And zoom in. Voila. Your clip. So usually you're not going to be this low. That's about the height you're going to be. As a real as a filmer, I know that usually you're not going to be under the skater. You're not going to be like this. Uh, don't 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 do any of that, please. If you're trying to do a realistic type video, it's just it's just not going to happen. I don't know I don't know too many instances when I do see a filmer go almost completely under the skater. All right. All right, hey guys. All right, this is uh, some long lens clips and our a long lens clip. Just drop it down, mid person height. Uh, make sure I don't know. Maybe sometimes, sometimes I like to do that. I get a little uh, awesome under the skateboarder action. Yeah, awesome. And sometimes it helps just to just to know where the ending is, where the end of the trick is, instead of just going through and filming it. Um, sometimes it, it works a little easier that way. And just set your marker, remember rule of thirds. And uh, this little wobble right here, like I said before, just to get rid of it, or like I like I will say in my next one, is just to get rid of it, just kind of keep adding markers until it stops. And you're good to go. And one little quick thing about this as well. You can also do speed. I don't know if everyone knew this. I didn't know this for a long time. Uh, but, yeah, you can do in-game ramp slow-mos. I didn't know this. Until maybe about two months ago. And then... Yeah, voila.
All right, guys. Here we go. Here we're gonna do some uh, a little bit of line footage, um, just to keep in mind. Obviously, distort it again. Butt shot. Um, butt shots aren't always completely terrible, but it's not preferable by a long shot. Um, just I don't know. If you want to keep, if you want to have a nice ender or a nice beginning, just kind of. Roll it up to the up to the ground. Remember rule of thirds, at subject enters in one field or one third field, stays in middle for the majority of the clip, and then exits left. Or exits opposite. <laughs> it always exits left, I swear. It always does. And then from there, just kind of keep your skater center. Like I said, rule of thirds. And then what a lot of people seem to have trouble with is this little wobble right here. How it goes forward and back. I figured out just, just the way to cancel that out is kind of... Just set more markers until it stops the wobble. Yep. And there you go. There's a line flip. Now I get front tail, almost tap, front show, nose manual, tap tap. Uh, for those who are wondering, yes, I am skating on hardcore mode. Uh, that's really all I skate on because, I mean, it allows you to do a couple more things, like, I don't know, fall on a burial when you're hopping on a flat ground. Um, and allows you to do double grinds as well. Those are pretty damn fun. Uh, yeah, do one right here. Yep. Quick update about my channel. Uh, I am going to be doing a full playthrough with live commentary of Duke Nukem uh, Forever. Uh, I'm going to, right before Duke Nukem Forever comes out, I'm also going to be getting the demo, obviously. I mean, who's not really going to be getting the demo? And I am going to... I'm going to be getting Duke Nukem 3D. The original Duke Nukem, which came out way... Well, not really the original, but one of the original Duke Nukems that came out way back when. Great! Um, Thank you for that. Which really spawned my love of the game uh, game series itself. And uh, I will be doing another playthrough for that. And I just memorabilia. Yeah. Um, for Forza, Forza fans, I will be posting up a specific uh, specific car drift video soon. I have a Trans Am one in the works and an Aero Super Sport. Uh, which is a DLC car for the, I believe it's the Road and Track DLC. Um, I'm also now on a drift team called Bad Karma Drifts. And uh, we're doing good, we're tandeming, we're uh, going to be doing battles soon. Uh, yeah, I know I'm falling a lot. Uh, we're going to be doing battles soon. This is that and which thing. It's great. It's working awesome. Um, for the Battlefield folks, uh, I have new Battlefield Bad Company 2 video coming up. I have Vietnam as well, and I also have Battlefield 1943 I'm dropping. Uh, just kind of my insights of what I kind of think it feels like and how I like them. Uh, just kind of everything I can. Um, uh, as always, uh, one last thing before I let you go is. For the people who really love filming, lifestyle footage is a big thing. Um, lifestyle kind of kind of gives a little little feeling to whatever you're editing. I mean, it's just something as simple as, as as this right here, just walking up some steps. I mean, it's a little clunky animation in this game, but it's still it's still lifestyle footage. And you can take lifestyle many different ways. I mean, look, I mean, I can probably get six, seven different angles on this stair set alone. Just like him walking up the stair set. 
Something simple like that. Boom, here. I'm here. And have them walking up this way. Grab this, move it over, take it over here, put it nearly on the step. He's walking up this way. Hey, just freaking head banging on his way up. And uh, just, just the, re the, the reason that actually is a nice little thing uh, for videos is just it kind of gives a little filler and a little attitude to the to the video of whatever song you're using if you're using the right lifestyle clips. Um, oh, that's really all I have for you guys at the moment, and I will be catching up with you guys soon. All right, peace, Bix.